Hey guys, it's Jonah with DIY, and today I'm going to be DIYing something that I've really wanted to try for a long time, and that's going to be taking the lens off of this disposable camera and putting it onto a lens cover for my full frame camera. I've seen a lot of people do this online, and it's really intrigued me because I really like the film look, and I've really wanted to try and mix things up with my editing style and my photo style for a long time now, and I think this little lens right here is a really cool experiment that's pretty cheap, and I really think it's going to help me bring a more creative look to my photos here in 2024. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to start by taking the lens off of this thing right here. We're going to measure up and see how we can level the lens onto this lens cover right here so everything's nice and straight and then we're going to install it let it dry and then take some test photos to see how it looks all said and done all right guys so we have the disposable camera here and i'm just going to give you guys a little disclaimer i have no idea what i'm doing so we're going to kind of just go at it together and see how this whole thing comes off i wanted to make more of like a tutorial for it so you guys can do it at home if you wanted to try this and you know do it yourself because i know it's it's kind of gaining popularity and um you know i wanted to see if i could do it myself without like you know watching like a full tutorial myself we're gonna kind of just go for it and i think the first thing you want to do because it looks like you can get to the inside of this thing by pulling this apart and it looks like what you're going to want to do is just kind of pull off all the extra stickers and stuff all right so i use a screwdriver to pop this this side piece off right here just kind of wedge it under there so that part's coming off and then it looks like i have a spot right here that can come off and then same thing on the other side so we're going to go with this one here I just used a little piece, a little uh, keycap remover, and I got I was able to wedge it under there. All right, I just kind of wedged the uh, flathead that I got through the little opening, and then that, it was able to pull this piece off right here. And then with that, the whole thing comes off. You can see we have our film here that I'm going to remove now. I just pull, I just finished the film roll, by the way, so this piece just popped off. And then I'll pull this bottom piece off, and I think you just kind of, yep, pull it out. So this is my old film, and then now we have to remove all this extra stuff to get to the lens. So... I'm not really sure how we're going to do that. Um, just bear with me. I'll tell you guys how I ended up doing that. All right, guys, with brute force, I just kind of ripped the top off. And here we are. There's the little piece that we're going to be taking off. It's just this whole area assembly right here. I don't think we really need anything else. It looks like there are actually two screws you guys can see there that are holding this piece on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find a small screwdriver. I think I actually have one right here. All right, guys, so um, I actually got really lucky and my buddy Caleb had a like bit set for really, really small um, screw sizes in the back. So we went ahead and got that. I found the bit that I need. We're gonna go ahead and get this on and we're gonna get this disposable lens off. Now, honestly, if you didn't have one of these, then you'd probably be fine to, you know, just cut this off. I don't know how you do it, but yeah, I mean, you can, you can tell here, you really need a small bit to get this piece off because it is not a large screw. And just like that, we have our lens off the camera. Nice and simple. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be more of a pain. So now that we've got the lens off, we're gonna be probably, I'm probably gonna be cutting this area around here. You can use like a, you can use a pair of scissors or something like that. And then we're gonna measure where to put this onto the lens cap and then get that on and then get some test pictures. So on to the next step. All right, it is time to get this piece not as crazy looking. We just really want the circular lens portion. So we're just gonna use flush cuts for this because there's really not a reason to use a Dremel. It's incredibly flimsy. Okay. So we'll basically just do a perfect hole I thought this wasn't gonna be as like perfectly round when we were done with it. So I was like, oh, this would be kind of difficult to do without a Dremel. But yeah, these things are really nice to have. They're called uh, flush cut cutters. Flush, flush cut. Little snips. And yeah, I mean, we uh, make a light work of it. Honestly, that's better than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, these, I mean, these, these things will cut through like, they're like hobbyist meant for like copper and stuff like that, so. Wow, yeah. all right. And there's the inside. So at this point, what we'll do, grab a, grab a little bit. All right guys, so we got, the drill bit and we just got everything clamped down. We're gonna go ahead and start. Man, that looks, that looks pretty eyeball center. Yeah, we kind of eyeballed it. <laughs> Lightweight. There we go. That's a lot of plastic. How do we uh -huh. look? A hole. So there's our hole. We're gonna see how close. We can get like an idea just by doing this. You know, we can hold it and put it, throw it on your camera real quick. All right, we're doing the outside because we didn't really like how the inside looked. Yeah, we kind of just tacked it up to see what it looked like on the inside and we didn't really like it. So we just pulled it off and then we're gonna tack on the lens to the outside of the cap. And we're just gonna see after a minute or two of waiting for this to kind of solidify, we're gonna see how it looks. Exactly. Glue's on, we'll let it sit for a second. And then it looks good and it's focusing right and all that. We'll uh, we'll do a perma glue. Yeah, we'll do a perma glue, we'll glue all the way around it and then throw it on the camera and we'll be good to go. Well guys, the dispo lens is finally on as you can see and it's nice and glued up onto the camera lens. And yeah, overall it looks pretty good. This is what it looks like from the inside and yeah, nice and nice and smooth. Um, goes on just nicely. And one thing I didn't mention whenever we were doing this is uh, make sure when after you drill everything out that this whole circle area 
is nice and clean because you don't want any of those little shavings or anything like glue or anything getting onto the camera sensor itself. So just make sure that, you know, this whole thing is nice and clean before you go ahead and mount everything up. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty simple process. Honestly, it was easier than I thought it was to do. One thing I also think we could have done differently is if you have a larger drill bit and you can make a larger hole, instead of cutting off all the extra plastic around the actual lens here, you can usually just make a larger hole and then fit the lens right into the cover. So that way you don't have to glue from the top here, but this is what we did and it actually turned out pretty good anyways. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put up um, a couple of pictures on the screen for you guys. Um, these are just some pictures I got with the actual lens on, on my a7 IV. And overall, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the results, especially considering it's only like a $30 lens altogether whenever you buy all the parts. So yeah, very impressed with it. The only thing that kind of sucks that of course, you know, you're gonna notice whenever you have this on is you cannot adjust the focus. So it's a fixed focus range. It's a fixed, you know, focus length and it's a fixed aperture my camera doesn't even read that there's a lens on the camera body whenever i'm actually you know shooting with this thing so there's no adjustments you can do just kind of you know what you see is what you get and you kind of have to play with you know how close and how far you are to your subject when taking pictures it's still a really downside but again you know for 30 bucks there's not much you can really complain about but yeah overall this is a fun little diy and let me know down below in the comment section if you want to do this yourself and uh if this interests you so as always, if you like this video, drop a like down below. It does help the channel out a bunch. And I'll leave affiliate links down below in the description if you wanted to pick up the disposable camera lens and then these lens cover caps that I purchased on Amazon below. But thanks for watching to the end if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.